Hey guys, this is Simon. In today's video, I'm just going to give you a brief tour of the Explore Stars app by Explore Scientific. Uh, I recently reviewed their Exos 2 GT mount with the PMC8 Go To unit. And this is the app that is used to control the PMC8 and essentially control the telescope. Um, so I'm just going to briefly run through the app here. It's actually very, very simple, um, very user friendly and uh, has some uh, good things about it and is uh, a little unique. So um, it's not really like any astronomy software I have used in terms of controlling the mount. Uh, so let's just get right into it. So the first thing um, is just this box up here. This is your site data. Um, it tells you your time, your local time, uh, your local mean sidereal time, your latitude, your longitude. Now you see mine say zero because I don't have the location services turned on on my computer. Uh, but if you do, um, it will automatically relay this to the PMC-8, uh, your GPS location and all your time and all that, so that you don't need to buy a separate GPS unit or anything. So that's pretty cool um, that the GPS is integrated into the app. And then it has your OTA data. So where is your optical tube pointing? Uh, right now, declination is 90 degrees and zero, zero. And, uh, Altitude, azimuth, 00360, and uh, your target data. Now, obviously, I'm not looking at anything, so it doesn't have anything on here yet. Uh, to control the telescope, you can either use this slider or these, uh, these numbers right here. And so if you use the slider, you can change the speed. So this would be motor speed 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And when you're going um, at a 45-degree angle here, it controls both axes, so RA and DEC. If you're just going one or the other, it's just deck or just RA. And so that's how you control that. Uh, and then, like I said, you can just click eight and move the telescope left, right, down, or whatever. So uh, it's really, really simple there. Uh, you click on this button, it's called App Bar. And that brings up kind of the functionality of the app. So you can take a tour, you can load extra stars. The app has 70,000 stars, I believe. Um, you have your solar system objects, your Messier objects, your alignment stars. You can do a two-star alignment, three-star alignment. This is how you sync the star. Um, you have an alignment tour, which kind of shows you everything that's available for your alignment. Um, a coordinate input, so you can type in your own RA and DEC and go to your target. A capture target button. Park the mount, uh, which basically just resets your mount to the index index marks, uh, reset alignment, resets everything, and reset your comm link. So it's really simple, but what I really like is they have some really nice pictures in the app. So you get a lot of the Messier objects, or all of the Messier objects, I should say. I think one or two of them are missing a picture, but I'm sure those will be put in. And uh, I mean, the Pleiades here just looks awesome and pretty. And you'll notice there's no button that says slew to. So that means this object is not available to look at at this time. So it has a lot of information on each object in the app. But if I was to pick something like Messier 3, you'll now notice there's a button that says slew to object. And so this one is available and I can slew to it. It has all its alternate names. And each object has a nice description. So one of my favorite nebulae um, is Messier 8, the Lagoon Nebula. So it has a little description here and you can slew to it, uh, distances, etc., which is typical for a program like this. Um, so to align the telescope, uh, you can just hit two or three star. I'll just hit two for the sake of time. The thing I like the most about this app is, to be quite honest, I am not great with my stars. I'm not a huge constellation person. I really like nebulae, galaxies, star clusters, that sort of deal, but I've never been huge on memorizing star names or kind of the lore behind everything. So it's really nice is it will show you the constellation that your star is in and uh, you can uh, hit try next star if you don't think you're going to be able to see the one. Um, so we have Leo here and I can hit, uh, you see it's Regulus, so I can hit align to this star because I know I can see Regulus. And so if you didn't know where Regulus was, instead of having to open up planetarium software, it actually has a uh, picture of the constellation and uh, where Regulus is, which is really, really nice. And so it's slewing over there right now. And then once the telescope is pointing at Regulus, uh, the app will tell you center the target 
star in the eyepiece and press the sync on target button. So you'll go ahead and move these around and zero is your slowest speed. So you get everything all centered and then you can either hit uh, sync or you press sync on target. So I'll press sync on target as I'm just doing a generic alignment here. And then it will bring up a, another star out there. And so I'll just click align to this star. And I mean, look how much information is on each one. That's, that's pretty good. So I'll hit align to this star. It'll go over there, it's flashing. And uh, now if I didn't know where the star was, I could actually find it myself, which is nice instead of having to open up a, another planetarium software. So um, I'll hit app bar. And once the uh, telescope is done moving, we will hit sync. And you can notice as the telescope's moving, the OTA data is changing rapidly, obviously, and now the target data box is filled in. So the mount is now found, Altair. I will go ahead and hit sync on target. Our, uh, our alignment is all done now and uh, we can hit solar system objects and what's really cool about this app is they have quite a few in here they have vesta ceres Pallas, estrella um, venus mars obviously mercury the moon jupiter saturn neptune uranus your typical objects but some of these lesser lesser known ones like juno um, so you have the sun obviously all these are in here you click on mercury venus um, there's a bunch of information about each of these so uh, they did a really good job visually with the illustrations and everything and uh, I really do like how they include the the constellations on here one thing that surprised me that they don't have down here you have your two and three star alignment I'm very surprised there's not a polar align feature uh, a lot of uh, companies are coming out with a polar align feature where you just do it electronically rather than using your polar scope so I'm surprised that's not there however this uh, program is open source so you can get the code for it and you can code whatever you want into it and so that's really cool and I think people will be willing to share what they've done and so as people come up with different things for the app they can they can share what they've done and um, I'm guessing a polar align feature will probably come for it as as others develop that um, but yeah that's really all there is to it you just have your messy objects. There's not a, a ton of objects in here yet, but it's very, very simple to use, very easy to, easy to uh, control if you're a beginner. And I do like that it has the constellations on here as well as which star you're looking at. So um, if, you, if you want to, to uh, download the app right now, it's only available for Windows, but they are going to come out with it for the uh, iOS or Apple and Android operating systems. So right now it's only Windows, but in time it will uh, it will be all encompassing. So that is the Explore Stars app. Uh, I hope that gave you an idea of how it works and how simple it is. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys.